my channel which is complementary economics and today's concept is again the third chapter of second PUC year plus two uh, syllabus which is production and cost theory so right now I have a concept which is four mark this question takes a four months easy one so when you're going to attempt any of the uh, theoretical question it's going to take a lot of time for it so if you're going to attend these kind of a practical oriented and easy question it is easy you can save the time at the same time scoring will be very easy in theoretical question usually your marks will be deducted but in these kind of question it is very very less number of time you're going to uh, lose your marks so definitely this is an easy going and easy uh, you know scoring question so now i have a question which i'm going to use a calci for it you will be having the basic calci so in your syllabus, so now you have the question, so where you have to find out average product and the marginal product. So let me tell you, you have given the labor, the labor number you already aware of which theory is this. This theory is the law of variable proportion theory where the labor numbers are continuously increasing and TPL you can see that it is increasing one point of time it started decreasing. So now you have the APL, so you have to find out APL. APL is nothing but average product of a labor. So how are you going to calculate this? You're going to calculate this with the help of one of the formula which is TPL divided by L. Total product of the labor divided by L. So you have 0 by 0, so definitely answer should be 0 only. So now TPL is 1. And L is 1, TPL by L, which is 1 by 1, it's again it is 1. The answer will be 1. So now start calculating this. 35 divided by 2. The answer is 17.5. The answer is 17.5. So next, 50 by 3. Answer is 16.2. 16.2. 40 by 4, which is 10. 48 by 5. The answer is 9.6. So this way you are going to calculate. So let me solve one exact, how exactly you are going to solve. TPL divided by L. This is the formula to find out average product of labors. So then the formula will be TPL is here. So 35, I am taking this particular line, 35. Divided by 2. TPL is nothing but 35, so I have taken the 35. So, labor is 2. So, answer you can see here, which is 17.5. So, this is the way how you are going to find out average product. So, now it is a time to find out marginal product. See, to uh, find out the marginal product, you have two different formulas. The one formula is change in TPL divided by change in L. So, this is a very lengthy process to find out. So, I'll help you out that also. At the same time, this is the easiest one. I'll tell you both. So, how are you going to do it? So, otherwise, the best thing is I've already given this answer. So, how you have to find out in the previous classes, two previous classes of mine. So, I've discussed the same concepts. You please do check. So, I'll go with the easy method. So, no need of finding with a, a you know, spending a lot of time on it. It is not needed. So, let me go with this easiest method which is 0. So, instead of 0, you can go with, you do not have anything. So, I will go with MPL is equal to TPN minus TPN minus 1. So, go with this formula now. So, let me tell you. So, you have 1. You do not have anything. So, 1 minus 0. The answer is nothing but 1. So, then, uh, sorry, I have to consider TPL for it. So 35, 35 minus 1, which is 34. You have 50, consider 50. Before that you have 35. So it's nothing but 15. So you have 40 minus 50. So answer is minus 10. 
have here 48 minus 40. So answer is 8. Again it started increasing. So this is the way how exactly you are going to calculate. See these numbers can be changed. But methodology you should understand. It is not about the numbers what you have exact the number what we have taken. It is not a good number. It is about how you are going to calculate. So the easiest one is uh, to find out TPL. TPL divided by this. So TPL is this. Always these numbers should be divided by these numbers. So now to find out MPL, the best easiest methodology is from the second number subtract the first. From the new one always, sorry, not uh, APL, you have to consider TPL. From the second number always subtract the first. 35 minus 1, 50 minus 35, 40 minus 50, 48 minus 40. This way you will get exact answer what will be the thing. So, so from past three classes I am doing the same concept. So I am done with the short run course. So in the next class I will be meeting with the long run uh, production theory. Thank you so much.